we break down um, the levels of consciousness and spirituality and the stuff that be going on in my head because um, me, I realize, right, uh, I got to this level of, I don't know what level it is, but it's different from the average man. So when the average man come in my presence and they talk to me, they see that there's something different about me. I don't know what they seeing and I don't know what it is or because I can't speak to myself. I wish I could duplicate myself and just have a conversation with myself, deep conversation, anything, play ball against my, I always used to wish that I had a twin brother and then how ironic I end up making twins, right? I always used to want a twin brother to compete against them in basketball. And, and just, you know, I have a brother my age that I could build with. That's one of, that's a great thing to have. The only thing with that is if he gets in the problems, you in the problems too. If he's a troublemaker and he got beef, you got beef because those people see you and they'll kill you. You know, people get killed because they look like somebody else, like that kid in the Bronx. But um, off topic, um, back to the topic, uh, um, my level of... Um, spirituality or whatever you call it because I don't label nothing is a lot of it is based off my experiences this year it's like I found myself this year in a way because I'm still searching but I know that um, I found a lot of myself people think that they find their self and then that self has to find another self you get it there's no such thing as you completely found yourself because you're always growing and learning stuff in life. So when I went through this experience this year, with all the pain and the torture and, and just the suffering, it enlightened me to a certain level, you know? And the things that I've seen and learning about the earth, all that was this year, one year, and the year not even over. This is, this is the most painful year I think I've ever been through. Um, as far as the family, a lot of um, um, ailments in the family, a death, um, somebody in a coma right now, a couple of things going on, my situation, um, just as a overall, and just me learning at the same time. I always say experience is the greatest teacher of all time. There's no man that could teach you better than life itself. There's no man that's going to teach you better than life itself. Experience is the greatest teacher of all time. So when I was experiencing those things and the things that I was learning and seeing and feeling, all those combined created an enlightenment that I could never get from schools or books. Because you could read all the books in the world. And I can sit there and talk to you about life and you will never, ever, 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 ever understand what I'm trying to say to you because it's a level of enlightenment that you can't grasp and you will never be able to grasp. Somebody's at my door. Oh, no, somebody's at my door interrupting my blog. level of enlightenment that you will never understand or grasp but um my enlightenment and my spirituality is based on my experience in one year so in one year you can become a god if you want to become one but not if you want to become one um it has to uh, choose you you have to be chosen to be um, a teacher carry on